All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Rise and Shine here on Bite Size Beefs. Now we caught back up to uh, this area. Now, how do we make these explode again? There we go. So we caught back up to where we were last time because uh, that was the end of the episode or the last recording session, I should say, of the last episode. And so I wanted to get back to where we were. Hold on, and we fire and we boom. There we go. So we're just getting back into the swing of things. And come on, hold on, hold up, hold up. Did we get his... Did we get it? Did we get it? I forgot to turn off the uh, explosive add-on. <laughs> Whoa! This is a big boy. What is this? Who now? Who now what? Oh, I am prisoner of these shiny things. Please help me, little one. I can see a guide is with you. Damn space vermin almost destroyed my body, and now my heart barely beats. Damn them all. The Colossus. We must help him. Hmm. So it doesn't look like we have range here. So I think we'll need to use explosive and EMP to get a nice lob shot. Hold on, we gotta reload. I forgot each of these explosives is single. There we go. There's one. Reload. And we're gonna get this third one. Ba bam Ba boom Skis. That'll help lower his arm. Shadow of the Colossus style. Oh, yeah. Now let's go inside him. Let us enter him. But not like that. This is this is like a beneficial, helpful kind of enter. Like, you know, we're going to go rid his heart of parasites. Like some sort of nanobot. Oh, look, he's got parasites everywhere. Ah, you are here. I need some energy to let my heart beat again, little one. Only then I can rebuild myself. Well, do... Oh, sorry. We'll do our best. I've never jump-started a million-year-old colossus before. This sure is big! Yeah, well, guess what? We are just as big. Bagoom! Look at that. And now, can we... Oh, hold on. We have to manage the bullets, I think, too. So do we just have to hit his heart with explosives? No, I think we have to clear the waves. All right, so here we go. We'll go back to uh, just straight-up bullets. Ah, okay, so killing the robots is what gives his heart juice. Good stuff, good stuff. So let's see if we can't snipe these guys on the roof. Dash. On the side, on the roof. Yeah, there we go. He's Now juice him, juice him, juice him! Yeah, there we go. We're juicing him good. Ooh. Now do we have to maybe shoot a guided bullet across? Oh no, we can just lob it up again. Like so. And then... Dinkleberg! Oh yeah. There we go, he got some juice. Now we need to hit this one, I think, with just a straight-up bullet. Oh, no, that's... He got one tier. So he's got one tier of health back. That's what those lights on the top of him mean, I think. He's got top-tier health. Oh, no, are they dripping acid? Oh, no, that's the green shell bullet, guys. The Krang-looking dudes who fly and do shenanies. I'm gonna shoot him with regular bullets, though. Dash! Got to dash out of the way. All right. Oh, got to dash out of that one, too. Forgot we can dash and reload. Got to learn the game again, because it's been a few days. Not many. Oh, here we go. Got to gotta juice his heart. No, 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 wrong button. Ah, no. All the wrong buttons. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Everywhere the wrong buttons. And I died. I died because I'm still thinking of the controller. Oh, man, that, that controller was hard, too. Hard to use. So, you know what? We'll just keep the electrical bullets out. Unless the Krang show up, then we'll swap to uh, regular bullets. But that's fine, because the Krang only show up every now and then. And I know they're not the Krang, but I like calling them the Krang, because they're pink and tentally gooey kind of looking things. And that's what the Krang were. And if you've been watching the newest uh, series of TMNT, then you'll know that uh, there are good Krang and bad Krang. The Utrom. So here we go. Gotta lob that grenade back in there, and doink! Blink, blink, blink. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Boom, boom. Look at that. And we'll go back to regular bullets here. Or regular ammunition, not explosive ammunition. Because uh, we'll need to be able to hit these boys wherever they come out. Are they shooting shotguns now? Do they got shotgun? Oh, they got, like, paratrooper ones now. Oh, man. Just from the skies. Oh, this little dude's firing out a bunch of bullets. How do I get him? Hey, little man, come here. Come here, you little jerk. 
I need to shoot you. Did I get him? No, I don't think I got him. Oh, dash! Oh, I dashed into a bullet. My bad. Because I'm trying to look up at the top of the ceiling, right, to get them, but also I need to be looking elsewhere for bullets coming at me. So this is a pretty, pretty hectic fight here, because I'm also not very good at watching where my reticle is and watching my character. I'm terrible for that. I get hit by so much in so many different games just because of that one fact that I always get caught looking at my reticle and not my character. Especially in games like League of Legends or uh, Battle Right or any of those other MOBAs, if you want to call them that, I get uh, caught so many times. Ah, oh, yes. I feel my energy flowing again. Your guide leads you well, little one. Man, the kids at school will never believe I saved the Colossus. That was awesome! And I'm not sure if I've explained it yet, because uh, while recording yesterday for the Life Goes On, I don't think I mentioned that in order to get these videos up, like PC games up, I have to record in 720. So unfortunately I can't give you that sweet, juicy 1080p, but I can still bring you some pretty good 720 quality videos. Uh... I know, I know, I know. You don't like it, I don't like it, but it's what needs to be done. At least the videos get up, and I'm happy with their quality. So, my heart beats stronger than ever. Now I just need a little time to rebuild. About 3,000 years or so. Thank you. Wow, that guy lives forever. Anytime, big guy. Yeah, have fun. And as I rebuild myself, all the creatures of this forest shall be under my protection. I am a being of pure love and empathy, filled with respect for every living thing in the universe, and I'm going to die. <laughs> or he's going to kill all space grunts. Oh, 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 hold on, kill it, kill, kill, the, kill the angel. Wow, all that love and empathy just crushed the hell out of that space grunt's head. Roar, damn space vermin. If I see any more of them, I'll eat them alive. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess he has lump, 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 I guess he has lump and emberber, lump and emberber, that's what he's made out of, lump and emberber. Now, I guess he's got love and empathy for everything that's, you know, not trying to kill innocent things. I mean, that's understandable. I mean, if things are going to be bringing harm into what he's trying to guide, or watch over, I should say, then, uh, oh man, I thought I could jump over those. Guess not. Oh well, let's see if I can't just get them before they shoot. Come on, blah, 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 blah. There we go, and then we'll duck under them. And fire more! Fire wildly into the air! Just fire wildly into the air! There we go. Oh, oh, it's a power star up at the top of the screen there! The gazebo has a power star on it. Nice. And there's Princess Peach. Yep, good job, Peachy. Oh, look at this. We got C4. Can we, can we maybe use an explosive to dismantle the C4? No, it looks like we're going to get trapped here, so we better just dash... Oh, the duck hunt dog's an evil bull! I was going to say a terrible word. And I died. Of course I died. I wasn't sure if we could run yet. And of course the duck hunt dog is an evil little punk. Of course he is. You jerk, I hate you. Go back to Smash Bros where I can love being you. Just trolling people. You know what? Death. Death to the dog and the bird. I accidentally hit Q, but hopefully we got the uh, right amount of points for that. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was waiting for the screen to switch. But hopefully we got that uh, secret. I hit it with the wrong type of bullet, I think, but hopefully it works. And we're going to get shut in here, aren't we? That's going to close behind us. Oh, look, I see trapped floors. Let's step on one. No? Let's... Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's trapped. Now let's step on one, or is this going to be like where bad guys spawn? Oh, bad guys spawn. Okay. So we're going to go to the edge here and just wait for them to spawn and shoot them. Or we can't. Oh no, they come out of the ground and eat our face. Ah! They're Goombas! Oh, I see. We've got to shoot the top with electricity. But now we have zombie Goombas coming out at us. Alright, so we've got to manage the Goombas and shooting for the electricity. So we've got a... No, wrong button. I keep switching the mode of our gun, not the... M or I keep switching it from regular bullets. No, I don't even know what to call them. 
but I keep switching the mode of the ammunition instead of the ammunition itself. Because I want to go from regular buttons, or regular bullets, sorry, to electricity bullets, but I keep pressing uh, to get them from, like, remote bullets to explosive bullets, and that's just not helping. Hopefully, and there we go. Did I get it? Okay, good. I thought I died, too. But hey, we got it. We made it through that little Goomba zombie village. All the, all the one, one, level one, one Goomba enemies. Oh, and of course we're dead. I thought we were still in a cutscene. This game has a thing of doing that. It'll keep the camera focused on the bad guy, making you think, you know, hey, look, it's still introducing the bad guy, but then also, oh, right, got a duck behind cover. Got to shoot him in the face, maybe, with lasers? Aha, I shot you in the face with lasers. No, I didn't see that. I saw it at the last moment. Ah. This game's getting pretty hectic. I mean, it might be... I mean, it could be short, like people are saying, but it's... It's pretty hectic. Hold on, we gotta reload, then we'll swap to regular bullets. Maybe regular bullets can help. No. Well. Oh, no, we gotta get back into cover. Oh, what? I was in cover. Oh, man. And here I am. See, I'm trying to get a grasp on the situation, right? But... Unfortunately, there's so many bullets coming around everywhere, you've got to, like, have a grasp on the situation and be firing at the same time. But I can't tell that apart from, you know, okay, so I have to be behind cover. Am I behind cover? But also I have to be out of cover shooting all these things coming at me. But it's a lot, of, it's a lot to micromanage. So there we go. We have to shoot it with the electricity bullets. All right, and we just, do we just keep shooting it with electricity bullets until it overloads? Like this? Okay, so then we have to shoot it with electricity bullets to break through. And there we go. And then we get regular bullets and blammo! Haha, -ha, we blew you up, sir. We blew you up good. Blam blam. Man, this is getting... I'm just a little distracted because there's so much going on screen right now. <gasps> oh no, mushrooms. Are people hanging themselves? Or are those people hung up to be a warning? Either way, this is terrible. This is terrible! Just checking for secrets. <laughs> Shooting everything in sight for secrets. And I think we'll have a little comic scene here. Probably explaining to us what the king is up to. The king's palace. Oh no, it is Princess Peach's castle. Oh, and all the toad guards. Oh no! Oh, this doesn't look too promising. No! Oh, it's Dario and Monkey Kong. Oh, wait, Monkey Kong would just be Monkey Kong. It's Dario and Monkey Kong. And Bluezer. Oh, look over there on the left in the picture. It's Bluezer. Ah, uh, Bluezer. D Bluezer, Dario, and Monkey Kong. Bam! I'd say draw fan art of that. But look, there is fan art in the game. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, no! Is that King Dario? Yes, that's the king. Or was. Can't believe those creeps managed to get through the army of soldiers defending this place. What's that in his hand? That's a famigram. It's been a while. I hope we don't have to blow in the thing to make it work. Let's see what happens if we stick it here. Oh, that was the wrong kid. I pray this message reaches Shine's carrier. This place's defenses are about to fall. We won't be able to hold them much longer. I was suspended to hear... Oh, I was saddened to hear we lost the legendary warrior in the Candy Mall battle. It is a crushing blow for our forces. As the new carrier, you probably know already what the huge difference guides make in a battle against our enemies. The link with the guides and the responding and the responding powers are what make Shine so important for us. Now, you are our most powerful weapon. But even with all that power, you'll be ne I'm starting to go Swedish a little bit and you'll never defeat the space grunts by yourselves. <laughs> That's it. He's now Dario. Dario is now Swedish instead of Italian because he's got the blonde hair. So we're going to stick with that. We're going to roll with it. They are too many and too well trained. They have destroyed every world they have laid their eyes upon. Yet the attacks have been too precise, too well timed. We suspect that one of us is feeding the grunts information about our defenses. Even still, there's one last hope to save us all. Go to RPG City and find the Odyssey Temple. Only Shine's carrier can enter, for Shine himself is the key. Whoa, RPG City? Within that temple lies the only chance of survival Gamer has. 
I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. The Grunts have just deployed chemical weapons and I must spend my last moments with my queen and my family. Good luck. Poor Dario. WTF! <laughs> the palace people! Oh no, they're all zombos! More zombies? How original. There are too many! Uh-oh. End of the road, kid. No! We are so dead! I mean, you've got a huge gun. Rise! Jump, Rise! Just don't look down, kid. Whoa! But a do 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 do, but a do 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 do. Epic music. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I was gonna take a drink, but do we have? Oh, okay, I've got time for a drink. Hold on. Hey. Well, why is this on auto scroll? Uh oh. I thought using the city sewer system to escape was a good idea, but the radar says we have a lot of company. Huh. Rise. Get to the lower deck cannons and shoot everything that moves. Ah. I'll try to recharge the electromagnetic pulse bomb, but it'll take a while. In the meantime, keep this ship safe. Leave it to me! Man, here I am thinking, oh good, there's dialogue. I can quick, you know, quick take a sip. But of course, of course not. Gotta reload? Okay, so we got 50 bullets. Oh yeah, baby. Reload. Blam, 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 blam. Oh, this is great. I like this. I like these side-scrolling space shooters so much. If you've seen the Kirby review, which I hope you have. If you haven't, please go watch it. They're fun, I swear. <laughs> But I loved the uh, the friend star portions of Kirby's star or Kirby star allies. It was just they were fun. Just side scrolling space shooters are a really good genre of game that I don't want to say aren't be you know aren't doing too well recently because I don't know if you know there are people trying to make decent space shooters out there. But all I know is that they're not as popular as they once were. So they could some people could be making absolutely great space shooter games. I just haven't heard of them or played them. So, question of the day. If you've heard of a good space shooter like game like this, uh, put the title. Shill it. Let me know. You know, don't link it. Don't link it, but just, like, put the title in the comment. Let me know. And, uh, yeah. Let me know if it's on Steam or if I have to buy it in, like, an app store. Because I'm, I'm, I'm fine for getting them on the app store, too. Like, I like phone games. Phone games are fine. They have their place. They have their place for when you are pooping. <laughs> Those are little chilled jokes. They are little child jokes for to play the games while they're pooping. <laughs> don't act like you don't do it. Everybody does it. <laughs> oh man, there's bullets everywhere and I'm reloading. I'm taking too much damage. There is probably an achievement for getting through this without being hit. And we will counter your shield by going under it. Ha <laughs> ha. We have bested you, inveritably, indubitably, verbubitably. I, I wanted to make something out of a verb, but I couldn't, because I'm dumb. I nailed it. <laughs> nailed it! Fake it till you make it. Or fake it till you have to make up your own word. Ah, I'm getting hit. I thought I pressed R to reload, but I guess not. I realized that a little, you know, too soon after I was reloading, that I was like, I thought I already hit R to reload. Oh man, these guys? I hate these guys. I also hate the guys that I can't kill because they've got the shield. The little bubble on them, I hate them. They're jerks. Oh, no, we're taking too much damage. I don't want to have to redo this. I like it, but I hate having to redo stages, especially when I'm like near the end. No! No! Too many bullets! It's a bullet hell now. It's oh, bullet hells are fun sometimes. You have to be in the mood. Oh, I got I got health up. Nice. I think we made it. Woohoo! Now that's precisely exactly how it's done. I think. Woo! We did it, kid. We. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you didn't do much. What? I kept my mouth shut the whole time. Show some gratitude for at least that, or for that at least. Indeed. From that standpoint, you were a great help. Guys, we need to land this thing pronto. I wasn't counting on the EMP frying our engine. I think we can make it to NPC Island if we keep a low profile. Cross fingers. Can't read it because it's going too fast. Why couldn't they just make that, you know, clickable? Like, like make me click through the dialogue so I can read it to the people expecting me to read it. I'm doing what I can with the engine, but we'll need a new spark plug if we want to reach RPG City, Raz. 
Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess, Dwayne. You're not gonna advance the dialogue on me because you're too busy not being in combat. Mm. Now I have to... Why? Why now? <laughs> Maybe you can find a new one in town. Take this walkie-talkie and let me know if you find anything. I can still hop over and pick you guys up. I'm on it! Man, I kind of wish... Is there like an inventory? Can I... Can I inventory? No, I was kind of hoping there'd be like an inventory where I could like... You know, put the mask back on. I like the gas mask. Whoa! That's like a magic school bus looking thing. Can we can we can we climb up there? Can we go? I would like to go up in, please. That's super cool. I'm sure that's a reference to something, but to me it immediately brought back memories of the magic school bus. Can we oh can we shoot the We can shoot the fruit? Oh, can we eat the fruit? Can we eat the fruit? No? Maybe if we shoot it enough? Oh, there's a... Wait, there's a basket there. I think I know what to do. Hold on. You've got to shoot the fruit into the basket. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Bam. Keep it up. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep it... Oh, no. Oh, you shoot it too many times. The jungle juggler. We got, a, we got an achievement. Yeah. Nice. Nice. No, not nice. Not nice. Not nice. Dang, I think we had it the first time with that angle. Okay, so hold on. Let's... Let's see if we can't get it. Let's see if we can't keep on it. There we go. Here we go. I think that's in. I think that's in. I think that's in. No, we need one more. No, two, two. Oh, 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 Dang. Dang. All right, we got this. We got this. We got. We we can juggle this. Watch this. Blam. Blam. Can we get this angle? Can we get this angle? Oh, blam. We got it. This is good. No, it's not good. I shot it too hard. Oh no, we shot it just exactly right. And we only needed one. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yep. I'm so happy with that. That was some skills. Mad skills. Let's press the elevator, and let's ride. Oh, what do I have to do now? Do I have to shoot it? Oh, maybe I have to electrify something? Do I? Does it need... I think it needs... Oh, it needs more fruit, doesn't it? Eh. Stupid juggle. I hate you. I think you're fun and a great way to include a puzzle into a gun game, but I hate you. And it's gonna go down farther, is it? No? What are you doing? Why must you be doing this? Why must you be doing this to me? Why? I do not appreciate you doing this to me. Maybe there's some sort of radio signal I can use near here to do an RC bullet. No? Explosive? No. If I just keep mashing it, maybe? Huh. Weird. Do I have to have a fruit with me? Do I have to, like, bring a fruit with me into the elevator? Can I can I kick them with my body? No, I just, I just have to shoot it. Wouldn't I? Maybe it can only respond to a certain amount of weight? Or maybe you need something in here to help you? No. That is odd. How do we solve this puzzle? -do? Oh, I think I see. I think I see it. I think I see it. No. Is there maybe some on this side here that we have to shoot? No. Interesting. Interesting. And we can't shoot the fruit, so we can't disengage the puzzle. So what does one do? Huh. Huh, interesting. Well, you know what? How about I end the episode here and we'll figure it out next time. Or I'll figure it out off camera and then we'll get back into it next time. All right. So thank you everybody for joining me on this episode of Rise and Shine here on Bite Size Beefs. And if you liked the episode, please don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe. I would really like it if you did that. Thank you very much. And you know what? Then you'll get to see all of my videos coming up in your feed. And that'd be fantastic now, wouldn't it? So I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody.